Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. Today, Pete and I are showing you a pedal brand from Germany called Rodenberg. Is that how you're going to pronounce this? Rodenberg. In... Good man, thank you. Um, I think. I'm fairly sure that the first time I remember hearing this brand was when we had mm -hmm. uh, Tyler Bryant yeah. on the show and What's he was on? talking about a new pedal he'd done, a signature pedal that he'd done with this obscure German brand that we'd never heard of before. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't until more recently I saw that Steve Lukather was working with them that I just thought, well, if it's good enough for Steve. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good enough for Steve. So anyway, what, and Steve? yes, really bizarrely, we, we contacted them and found out that actually there wasn't anybody in the UK doing Roddenberg pedals. Yeah. So it was like, fine, we better yeah. give this a whirl. And price wise, they were a lot less than I thought they'd be as well. So like good deal, man. Everything on here. These are handmade in Germany and everything in here is between the sort of the 150, 200 pound kind of mark. There are two bass pedals, which we aren't going to talk about today, but we'll leave them in shot so the that you bass, bass players can on it. drool over them. Yeah. Got some fabulous bass players that they work with. Marcus Miller, Stanley Clark, yeah. Victor Wooten. Which is amazing. We will get uh, Lee and Cece to do these in another day. They so we're just going to do these pedals. Yeah. Um, the pedals fall into a couple of categories. You've got your artist pedals here with Steve and Tyler. And then you've got non-artist pedals, which are a generic kind of overdrive pedal with a boost and then two Marshall sort of inspired mm -hmm. pedals. And then we've got this cool little thing called a kill mister, which is just a kill switch on a, but it's, I don't know, it's got by the looks of things a, a speed like how fast does the the kill come in? Yeah, I, so I don't know. Your toe out to go on. Yeah. So it. we'll we'll see what that does. Um, but before we do that, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You can win something every ten thousand new subscribers. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers because we had a lot recently. And uh, when we hit a million, you can win a real clon. So get on it. Get on it. Timestamps. Yes. Timestamps will be useful in this video. One, yeah, because there'll be lots if of stuff If you only going want on. to hear about Absolutely. one of these, then look below and you'll be able to fast forward to it. So, so what's, the, what's the story about this Rodenberg guy? Who is, who is he? Well, what's it's, the, I mean, there's I, not a lot that on the internet about him. It's a sm very small German company. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, it, it, I'm only really familiar with them because of the, the association with um, Steve and Tyler. Yeah, it's Steve great, Tyler. man. Steve and Tyler. Steve, not him. <laughs> Steve and Tyler. Uh, but they sound good, and yeah. I, as I said, I was really they surprised price-wise. You know, I'm so you get so used to anything being sort of handmade boutique being 300 quid nowadays. I was yeah. like, fair enough. Anyway, let's anyway, see. Let's they might it. sound rubbish. <laughs> let's find out. They so uh, the first pedal, the gas. We all have gas. Um, Gibbs gas. Overdrive on one side with a drive, a tone, level control, and two switches, one that is a, a slight gain boost and one that is a slight bass boost. Yeah. They are on in the upwards position. Over here is a clean boost. The two sides work independently all like together. the colours, man. Look. Yeah. The clean boost also has a bass boost and also um, you can elect whether you want to, you know, how, how much boost you want to get on this switch here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a tone and a level control here. The signal path is fixed, so it is gain side first, boost side second. Just like Mick and Dan yes, likes Mick it. Yes, Mick and Dan will love this. <laughs> um, and let's have a little listen. So here's our clean sound for the day. Into the little sister with a bit of uh, reverb from a blue sky. And here's some gain. <laughs> So, it's great know, distortion. I would say um, quite a 
sort of narrow lane, as in it, regardless of where the, the controls are set, it's it's one type it's of got overdrive, tone, like yeah, a it's classic got a tone overdrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's have a listen Rock to the boost tone. side. That's good. So the amp is just slightly in the middle ses uh, setting. Everything at 12 o'clock, Noel, in case you're watching. A master <laughs> and uh, gain just over two. So it pushes that nicely, doesn't it? When you say just over two, you're talking from one to ten. So yeah, yeah, one as to a, ten. As yeah. A, as a, as a, on a clock, yeah, that would be yeah. sort of about nine or ten o'clock. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. I, I can't just... tell the time on any clock at all. <laughs> so you've been wearing your G-Shock too yeah. long. Yeah, but I'm not looking for the time. I'll just look at it to. It's just because it looks nice. The two together are yeah. epic. But it's funny when you have the boost after, when you take it back off again, it's like... Uh. But it's that's your rhythm sound, that's your solo sound. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, I, no, absolutely, I see what you mean. But yeah. you know what I mean? I like, I would just like I use to sound like that. <laughs> Flipping it. I, I, what is interesting is all the switches on here are very subtle. So it's almost like the bass boost or cut, whichever way you want to think about it, is just enough to make it feel like the bass end's been tightened up a little bit. But yeah, it's not yeah. like a radical reduction in the bass end. I like that. Well, I like so it. there's, there's your great, gas man. pedal. And that's your, your basic, you know, Roddenberg before any artists have got involved or any other, you know, trying to stylize it after an amp. That's your basic like overdrive it. pedal. Very cool. I like it. That is 100 and 59 pounds. Is that it? Yep. Uh, okay, so before we move on to the artist stuff, a let's try a BL800. Yes. No prizes for guessing which particular Marshall this one is trying to emulate. High voltage. Yes, high voltage. Uh, danger, danger. Yes, this is a JCM800 kind of pedal. Mm -hmm. uh, boost here is an additional gain stage. So let's just see, can it make this sound? They got that now. Uh, yeah, they got that. but I always think JCM 800 is 
we associate that with so many sounds from the 80s but then when you do go and look at slash and angus young and stuff you find out that actually they were using modded older versions yeah. of 800 so i'm not even sure which artist is truly synonymous with the 800 is it zach wilde something like that um hasn't he got his own one but Surely must have I think originally though it was. Yeah. Well, look, there you go. Comment below. It who, sounds who's great, your though. favourite guitar player that's an 800 user? I, I agree. I think it sounds fantastic. I think it sounds fantastic. Wicked. fantastic. All right. Um, great rock sound. What does that say there? I don't really know what MSTB means at the bottom. It looks like an accelerator pedal on a car, doesn't MSTB. it? MSTB. Oh, mechanic, me, me, <laughs> mechanical silence, true bypass. So it's it's mechanically silent and true bypass. He's right. There's no clicky through the amp, is there? No. It sounds good, just put it on. Oh. Right. I think it's that's a great uh, rock sound. That is man. 199 pounds. Oh, anyway, price. let's uh, let's try this BL Deluxe. I mean, that looks like maybe be a silver one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, BL Deluxe. Bizarrely, this is the most expensive pedal from uh, Roddenberg, even though the Lukather has more knobs and switches on it. It's not as expensive. Don't know why mm. that is, but it is what it is. So what are we going to tell you about the BL Deluxe? It looks like a more vintage version of a Marshall um, kind of amp, but they're not claiming... There's nothing in there website here to suggest which Marshall it is. It just says it's the interpretation of the British rock sound. Yeah, British legend amplifier um, effects, it says on there. But uh, unless, of course, it's the Jubilee, maybe that's a bit more yeah, silvery. Yeah, that's what I thought. It could it was, be like a, a silver, so it's yeah. not a more vintagey version. Analog virtual tube. So yeah, that's their thing. There's a lot of stuff going on, isn't it? there? N yes. S, C, B, D, uh, A, B, D, Let's just see what it sounds C, like. Yeah, let's let's That's much more rocky, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it weird, just in general, how all valve amplifiers, and especially this one that we're getting a bit used to now, yeah. the volume control on the pedal goes, sounds okay, sounds okay, sounds okay, sounds okay, sounds amazing! Yeah, but it has to be loud, it's man. It's like, it's just, it's just get to that point where yeah. it's just, just gives yeah. it that in the so, so, to, so, so just to tell Rob Chapman, no, it's not the end of an era. <laughs> it comes amps is still awesome. <laughs> and they will never end. As long as I live and breathe. Joe Bonamassa will... and Peter Honore <laughs> flying the flag for real loud Absolutely. guitar We'll be amplifiers. out there with the, with, the, with the banners out front of tube factories going, don't stop making don't tubes. Don't stop me now. Right, yeah. come on. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not going to play the whole I thing. I do we like get, this. It's good I think them. I prefer this one to the, the Yeah, BLA. I do. That's a proper. It's got that. It, a, it's fatter that. and lower gain than the BL800. It, it's got so. that low end. Take it back. So many blue slits. It's not. It's got just more of everything. It's got. It's got fatter, and then it sounds good on a lower gain setting, and then it's got more gain if you want it. It's just Can crazy. It
that's a great sound, man. That is man. a great sounding pedal. Nice pedal to play. Excellently Feels designed. Yeah. Um, we tried to find a little bit more information out about uh, Roddenberg with regards to, you know, the guy but all we could find online was that they started in 1990. Yeah. So it'd been around a long time. 33 years this year. Yeah, congratulations. The same length as me. It's brilliant. Same brilliant. age as you. I tell you what, I, I, I do think the only thing, right, as to far, yes. Top mounted jacks. Top mounted jacks. It's because they were designed in 1990, that's why. It's still, it's like, he's got to get up to speed. All right, well, look, um, I'm just, can, in fact, let me just grab a, a, a patch cable. A few inches later. Didn't Pardon wait the me, other I way know, in, you know I realized that the just first as I did. Time it. Okay. <laughs> So cool, man. That's genius. <laughs> that is genius. Because what's the hardest thing about doing that? Oh, it, I suppose if you want to do that, da, 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 you can't do that. But if you just well, you want, can. no, you. Well, I, what you mean? As in, can it just do all the way back? Hold it down. Yes, all the oh, way. Up. Right. Apologies, I obviously didn't have it on its minimum setting. So its minimum setting is just, you know, an on and off switch. Yeah. But yeah, all these are different tempos of, of uh, oh, that's clever. You need to play your uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, don't what, you? What is it? I said hello. <laughs> What's its fastest? a song that tempo i want to say it's some sort of rem song or something yeah but <laughs> don't love me oh well there we go look that's I mean, cool that's what it does <laughs> this, what is that song that's uh co cheese or something <laughs> is it co cheese or gasoline or something like that oh what oh, yeah. a band that's a great thing isn't it what a i've never seen that's that before. pretty clever i've yeah. never seen that before and that is um uh, that is, I'm going blind, 69 quid. No. Oh, come on, everybody needs everybody one of those. Everybody needs one of those. 69 quid. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, let's try the Tyler Bryant Shakedown Do Special. Right, right, so Pete is going to change guitars here yep. because Tyler oh, plays what? a Strat, uh, or at least every time I've seen him. We have also found out that Mr. Rodenberg is called Uli. Um, mm -hmm. And it basically says here that uh, Tyler says, uh, ever since I've had this pedal, I've used it at every session and every show. With this box, I can walk into any situation and know I'm going to have the horsepower that I need. Oh, he's um, a cool dude. And you know what? That's what it's all about for signature stuff. Don't we keep talking about that every single time? It's just the same with the day. And you have to make sure that it's the right thing because exactly. you use it. So essentially, Tyler apparently uses the left hand side with the 909 sort of boost on for his rhythm sound, and then the right hand side he adds in for solo. So, of course, you can do whatever you want. 909 or to do. 808? Well, it's Did 808 say, is there, and then but uh, this switch makes it 909, which I think is like a bit of a just see, a it's, play. Like, it's just like one more. Than the 908. The 901, the left hand uh, side. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, It's got that, that, that's... It's classic, isn't it? Classic. <laughs> Let's just see what it sounds like with bass off in 808 mode. Yes. A lot less gain with less in 808 gain. mode. So here's 808 mode is with the switch down. Is nine or not?
sounds good. Great. It's got the thing, man. It's definitely it's got, got the, the thing. 808 thing going on for shizzle. I'm just going to tune uh, this stuff so I didn't get to tune it. Come on in. Let's just hear maybe, again, you can obviously use these independently if you want to. It's Sometimes that is one of the best Tube Screamer sounds. Sometimes the mid hump yeah. on a Tube Screamer clone is just not quite right. where you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just nailed on. That's nailed on. Absolutely like nailed I on. Really I like, like that, that a lot. That's a great pedal. <laughs> Continuity. Nice. Could we just hear that with the strap for just a smear? Uh, sorry, with the Les Paul for a smear. Shh, 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 not a I didn't mean. So, yeah. Here we are. Okay. For the comment know. section, are tube screamers just for strats? I like it for this one here. Do you? I think yeah. it sounded more classic. I think with tube the screamers silver more sky. For, yes. Tube screamers are more for single coils. Yeah. And I'm talking about a tube screamer with some drive. I'm not talking about how all the Genty guys use it to sort of, you know, yeah. just for, to talk. I'm talking about as an actual overdrive pedal into a mildly I, driven yeah. amplifier. No, I, I think I think so. it sounded sort of more iconic for for the for the on the silver. That's because you got your Stevie it's Ray ear on this is all true. the time. It doesn't matter who is like, oh yes, does it sound like Stevie Ray? It's like, hey, he was the one hey. that made that sound, wasn't true. he? True. So he did, and everybody's trying to play like him and sound like him, and you know. So if you I fancy you a TV drive, uh, you will have to part with one hundred and seventy-nine pounds of your British sterling money. I know. That's be two hundred fifty quid. In my opinion. Well, it would be if it was a Danish Pete signature. I would be 350 quid. <laughs> <laughs> well done. All right, I think well, that's an go. amazing so, value for drive, money. Uh, go check them out. They're in stock as well below. Wow. Right, onwards. Okay, we're going in uh, for the Luke pedal now, the mm -hmm. SLOD overdrive. Now, according does, to the. What does SL store stand for? I'm not sure. A super lead? Uh, maybe. Slightly left? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> That's where it ends, yeah. isn't it? Uh, okay, so according to the website, uh, Steve originally had a tweaked version of this pedal. Mm, the Goss. And this is the new, sort of the latest version. There are two versions of the Luke Overdrive, a much simpler single um, switch one or this triple switch one. And we'll plug this in in a second. Uh -huh. Crazy affordable as well. So $1.99 for the big one and $1.00. One five for the little one. Plug them all in at the same time. Why not? You sure? Why don't you? Wow. Well, no. Oh, I'll, okay. do I'll do it after this. Right. So, you want to know what Steve Lukather says about this pedal? He says, he says, I just wanted you to know how much I love, in capital letters, the box you sent me. Hard to describe it. It just makes it sound better. Smooths out the amp distortion in the most positive way, without noise or strange colouring. I use it every night, even when I'm not gigging. I added that bit in, by the way. The, and and no swear words in here. And it is proudly placed on my pedal board. I am deeply honoured. Thanks so much, man. Happy to endorse your excellent gear. By the way, Uli, if you're watching, there's a couple of spelling mistakes in that bit there. You might want to go and correct on your website. But hey, is there? other than that, but that's, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised coming from Steve. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's it's spelling probably mistakes. Probably F words you had to take out um, of it. And 
He's worse at innuendos than, than I am. Is he? You know, I mean, you remember that when we saw him at Nam. You know, yes. he's he is much worse than I am. I think him and me would get on really, really well. Like immediately. I think all that freaked me out when I met Steve Lukather at that Nam show yeah. was how much he reminded me of uh, Keith Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if you, I'm, I, you, I swear, Brian, if you're really? watching, what's his name? I've Lee Francis. Watch, yeah. If you're watching this, Lee, you probably won't because you probably don't even play guitar. You could do an unbelievable Steve impression Lugger. of Steve Lukather. I'll tell you what, yeah. Unbelievable. Now, it does, in fairness, make a point of saying that Steve uses this in front of an already pretty driven amplifier. So I'm, I'm guessing he's talking about his Bogner amplifiers, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. Are, which are pretty hot Bo anyway. Bogner. So we'll start this just hearing it over the sound we've been using for the whole demo, and then we'll get some more gain out of the Freeman mm -hmm. and try it over yeah. that. We'll so it's some pretty simple. Course, but... Well, I say pretty simple. It's got a low gain overdrive pedal, a high gain overdrive pedal, and a boost. This locked switch here is, uh, it switches it essentially so that the two pedals toggle like this. Well, toggle, so they can never yeah, be yeah, on at yeah. the same time. Or with the switch down, you can have them both on at the same time. Is that a Heather? Other than that, I think we're in some fairly, yeah. <laughs> Heather, <laughs> Heather locked switch. She's gorgeous. Yeah, um, she was anyway. She was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you've completely thrown me now. <laughs> that, was, that was when we all wanted to be Richie Sambora so that we could be in Bon Jovi, play guitar like him and be married to Heather But Lockley. wasn't she with, uh, with that drummer? Motley Crue. Yeah, Motley Crue for, before. Oh, I thought, Did uh, he date he? Pam Anderson think, and Heather Locklear? I think he was, wasn't he? Didn't he have a... What a hero. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> great, so, great video take they made as well. <laughs> that wasn't Heather Locklear. No, that I know, was, but I don't okay. care. I, didn't. Uh, I was just looking at his, uh, his tackle when he was fishing. Boost switch, yeah, he did a lot of fishing, didn't he? Right, come on. Wow. Uh, right, low gain. <laughs> Sounds like a pedal that would work over a driven amp because it's got that sense that you can still hear some of the clean yes. note definitions yeah, through it, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? Anyway, I, don't know what, I can't the... tell what kind of overdrive it is, what kind of family it's in. Definitely not tube screen. Same there. Yeah. You can still hear the, the underlying clean tone, yeah. which is probably why he uses it with a gainy amp. play the solo. <laughs> and that's just a boost. That's a so good boost though. Everything <laughs> works independently, which is always cool, because then you really yeah. do have three pedals in one. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I would think that's the that's the boost side from the gas pedal. Yeah, that, I assume again everything's going in that same yeah. direction. Make so a dance style, man. Yeah. They they know what they're talking about. <laughs> I bless the rains, <laughs> that's what I wow. do. <laughs> but only in, when you're in Africa, obviously. Uh, bless the rains uh, down in Somerset. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, uh, right, so now we've got... <laughs> I've, I've got to say, sound, I <laughs> don't know how much gain Steve would have on his amplifier before playing this. We just need to give him, get him in. I agree. That's it.
Oh, can you play? If you insist. I insist um, on playing because I can never remember what it is. That's, that's oh, my curse. Oh, like 17 takes later. Um, no, 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 that sounds really? with a, with a with a slightly gainy yeah. amplifier. That I mean, sounds this needs really stereo good. delays, all that sort of stuff, right? That's if, essentially that's where we first used this was on the TC twenty two ninety. No, what was it? Was it TC twenty two ninety that we used? It oh, on? I can't remember. Did we? I think it. Well, we used it on a on a on a video where we had a delay pedal that was kind of synonymous with with Steve's sound. But... That's all you're getting. Nail it. That's nail all you're it. Getting. But nail it. It's a, I do like this. Uh, it's good, I it? do like this pedal. I like this combination. Yeah, I feel I'll like to roll off I feel like I would want a bit of delay. Like yeah, no, it's, yeah. a, it's an yeah. 80s kind yeah. of. Is he, more of a, is, he, is he more of a humbugger guy, isn't he? I'm trying, do you know what? I'm so bad now. His Luke is an HSS guitar, isn't it? But there's um, also an HS version of it. Is there an it? HH version? Sure yeah, you might be right. Sure, I'm sure he does it I all, mean, I man. kind of... Look, he's such a legend, man. He, he's such a guitar hero. He's one of the best guitar heroes he's ever. He's the guitar player. And we've had this conversation, maybe we've never done this on video, but I think he is... If you wanted to pick one guitar player that regardless of the genre that you're really, really into, yeah. you just go, yeah, he's epic. Yeah. I think Steve Lukather is number one. Yeah. Well, I mean, he probably doesn't, he doesn't shock and do that. But I so, think those guys still respect him. Oh yeah. I, I, you know, I know there's guys like Jeff Beck that probably maybe even Steve would go, yeah, he's the guitarist guitar player like yeah. that. But I think Jeff Beck appealed more to an old school guitar player. I, I just yeah. think Steve Lukather is one of those like, who doesn't like him? And what hasn't he played on? That's the thing, you've probably played on yeah. more albums than... I've, I've still, than, I've, than got a, I've listened to him. He was in this crazy um, fusion project called uh, Lost Lobotomies. Uh, <laughs> that just did, and again, it's like... The Harry South. so like out there in the sense of just crazy guitar playing. It's just, he's mental. Anyway, we yeah, love he is, Steve he is Lukather. absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, and People I, sometimes say that I sound like him, which I don't understand. Really? But maybe, yeah, when I play live stuff and some of the solos, wow. some of the sounds like it, I don't know. Crazy I mean, I'll, take, I'll take it. Absolutely. But I don't know why, but. It was, sound lovely, like Luke Stevether, <laughs> <He's, laughs> who's, who's a plumber from uh, <laughs> West Molsey. <laughs> <laughs> he's rich though, yeah. isn't he? He's, he's got very rich. He's, he's super got more busy. Money than super busy. <laughs> if he's um, from East Molsey, right. he's got more um, money than Steve Lucas will ever have. Uh, okay. And he's a plum. One last pedal to go, and then you can get around your day. Um, so here we are in the little baby version of the uh, of the Luke pedal. Now mm. this actually has a lot of the features from the big pedal in it. Okay. If you switch between the high and the low gain, you're switching essentially between the two really? drive sections. Yep. Yeah. Obviously. You can't have them both on at the same time, if you like. You've got the bass uh, boost on and off thing. So the only mm -hmm. thing you haven't really got is the is the um, boost, boost side of this. But again, it's almost half the price, so nothing wrong with that. So we'll start low gain. Uh, we've still got the amp in its gain. Yet. Oh, his name lights up. He's always wanted his name in lights. There you go, Steve Sky Luke. Steve Sky Luke Walker. <laughs> What is it? I'm not even going to try it. I know I can play it because I played it once because I had to in, in, in a band sometime, but now it's I can't. A, it's a... got... It's not there. Oh, no. it's... It's, 
it sings. <laughs> Got this singing, this heart. That's great, isn't it? It's got. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm on really it, so pleased. Harmony, it? I'm really pleased. You know, it's it's it's. I know. You know, there's a new Plumin pedal brand comes out every five minutes in this yeah, world. This these either. guys have been around for 30 years. Yeah. Uli obviously knows what he's doing. Yeah. Some highly respected artists. Uh, we didn't even talk about Lee Rittenauer, who uses um, oh, really? the gas uh, pedal. Uh, I said the bass players that he's working with. So there's some uh, Larkin Poe are, are using yeah. these pedals. I wonder where they found out about the, those from. Who knows? <laughs> um, so, look, yes. Uh, I think if you're in Europe, there are stacks and stacks of, of, of particularly German retailers that obviously stock this, which is fine. But yes, if you're in mm -hmm. the UK, um, dive on over to the Anderson's website. Or if you are somewhere in the world that you can't find these pedals, yes. we do ship them yes. all around the planet. So yes, dive on over below. You just throw it up in the air and then the planet moves underneath it and you <laughs> yeah. can catch it Elon somewhere. Musk style-y. Yeah. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. You can win something. Love you loads. Yeah, bye-bye.